You know, one thing we've talked about, Mr. Sims, mm. is that there's energy in everything. Yes, this is true. Energy. And I'm not just talking about energy when we, like, burn something. But there's energy when you have a phase change. All right. What do you mean by phase change? There's several varieties of phase changes. It can go from a solid to a liquid, or a liquid to a gas, or a gas to a liquid, or a solid to a gas. A phase change from one state to another state. And I'm oh, not yeah. talking Colorado to Texas. They don't touch anyhow. Yeah, I know. Well, you know. <laughs> You see, folks, we're talking about phase changes. What happens in a phase change from an energetic perspective? And so we're gonna, the focus of this uh, will be a video that we're going to watch about, um, well, we're going to heat some water. Kind of boring, but it actually <laughs> teaches us some interesting things. Okay, so let's do that. Let's talk about um, a couple of interesting terms, some, some definitions. So we'll copy these down. What is the molar heat of fusion? Well, it's the energy required to melt one mole of a substance. Okay. So melt means, what, what does that mean? Melting, we're going from solid to a liquid. So if I'm going from a solid to a liquid, it requires a particular amount of energy. Yeah, now this one's always struck me as weird, why it's called fusion, but you're going from a solid to a liquid. Why does that struck you as weird? Well, because if you fuse something together, you stick them together, it seems yeah. like it should go from liquid to solid. I but they called it the heat of melting. Exactly. But they didn't. But somebody didn't. Now so. this would be an endothermic reaction because oh, yes. if you think about it, to melt the solid, the you have ice, to put energy energy, for example, it. you have to put energy into it. Right. So it's the energy. Now something important to happen or to say about this is as the energy is being added, the energy is being used to break um, we'll call them the bonds. T typically, it could not necessarily, it may not be bonds, it might be what we call intermolecular forces, which we'll learn about in a later unit. It's being used to break the bonds, and a very weird thing happens. Oh, oh, by the way, the unit for that, or the symbol, is delta H fuss. Fuss, for fusion. For fusion. And the value for water, the one everyone talks about, is 6.01 kilojoules per mole. All right, and you're going to use that number, so you might want to jot it down somewhere. Or, yeah, 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 a little table or something like that. Okay. All right, there's also something called the molar heat of solidification. Now, this one makes sense. This is the, the energy associated solid. with changing one mold from a liquid to a solid. So it's the opposite of what we're to talking freeze about. It. Right. Now, this is a weird one, though, actually, if you think about it. So if I go from a liquid to a solid, then it's actually exothermic. exothermic. Right. For the liquid to freeze, it has to get rid of its energy. Right. So it's got to go away. And that's why we put things in the freezer. The freezer doesn't make things cold. It makes them less hot. So it takes the energy away from things to freeze exactly. it. Exactly. So there's a lot of confusion about that. It's called delta H solid. And actually, you know the answer for water? Interesting is the same it's number. It's the same, but the sign but is the different. But the sign is different. Right. Well, it's because it's exothermic. Right. So the so heat of solidification negative. and the heat of fusion are going to be the same value for a given substance, except the signs will be reversed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Interesting question, Mr. Sam. Yep. I know what the temperature of that water is without sticking a thermometer in there. Stupidly cold. Stupidly cold. So these people are swimming in an ice field. Yes. So you know what the temperature is? Um, cold. How about zero degrees Celsius? Now how do you know it's zero degrees Well, because Celsius. what's happening is we've got, um, we've got solid ice, and it's turning into liquid ice. And I have this double arrow thing going on where the arrows, some of it's melting and some of it's freezing. Okay. And I know the freezing point of water is zero degrees Celsius. The melting point of water is zero degrees Celsius. So if that phase change is happening, it has to happen at zero, zero degrees, degrees Celsius. Celsius. So okay. those people are in zero degrees Celsius water, which of course is 32 S Fahrenheit. And stupidly And stupidly cold. cold. All right. I think to help us truly understand this whole concept we're trying to get across is we should watch a short video, well, I'm not sure it's that short, but mm -hmm. watch a video clip of water as it warms up. Okay. Hey, Mr. Sands, what you got there? Oh, I got a beaker full of ice and water. Yeah, I see that, yeah. yeah ice is melting. Uh-huh. So we're, you know, the we're, temperature's right around, pretty close to zero. Yeah, pretty close, I can yeah. see that. Okay, so you'll notice that as this melts, the temperature's same, same, about the same. The same. You know, I'm going to put it on the hot plate here. Oh, it should get hot really fast well, now. You know, it's actually still going to stay right around where it is. Why? Because when things undergo a phase change, the temperature does not change. Yeah, that's right. Actually, folks, what's happening is the temperature does not change because the energy that is being added to it is being used to break the chemical bond, not to um, that holds the ice together, not to heat up the water. So it's staying pretty close to zero. You can kind of see that going there. Yeah. All right, so we're just going to let this go for a while. We'll come back when it's uh, done melting. Okay. All right. 
All right, so we're really close here. Almost all my ice is melted, so we got a little bit of an increase, and that's... Yeah, because it, it's hard. The thermometer has a hard time measuring. So it's, all the energy is being used to melt that ice, and there's right. hardly and now, any ice left. All my ice is gone. So we should see a pretty steep increase in the temperature of this water now that all the yeah, ice is Yeah, I can gone. see that line. It's going up and That's up and up, up, isn't up it? Look at that there. Right, than right there. It's undergoing its phase change. Going straight up. So right here, typically, we consider it flat right here. And it's close enough to being flat, but the temperature is just rising and rising and rising yeah, that's as the really energy fast. here source from the hot. Ooh, that's hot. That hot plate um, is uh, causing it to rise. Yeah, so it's going way up quite fast. Now something interesting is going to happen though when we reach the boiling point, but we'll wait and see what happens there. Yep. So why don't we pause the video and we'll come back here in a few minutes. What All do you right. Think? Well, Mr. Sam's here. We are again. It looks like you're continuing to stir that. We're I in am. about six minutes, seven minutes, something like that. Yep. And it looks like the temperature is continuing to rise. Yes. So the energy um, that's in the um, that's coming from the hot plate is being used to raise the temperature of the water up um, a number of degrees. And right. so right now we're up to it looks like 64 degrees. Yep. And so we're going to pause the video and we'll come back when we get uh, close to the boiling point of water. All right, Mr. Sams, we are approaching the boiling point of water right here. Yes, we are. In fact, I can kind of see it looks like it's really it looks like it's boiling. Yeah, I got little bubbles going there. That could just be some dissolved gas. So the temperature can probably just uh, it'll just keep going up, right? Well, it'll go up until we actually start to to boil, and it starts to undergo a phase change. And now, during the phase change, no matter what, how much energy you put into it it doesn't change the temperature of yeah, the liquid. Because the energy, folks, is being used to break the chemical bonds. Not the the chemical bonds. Well, the, fit, the, the oh, hydrogen no, bonds. The hydrogen bonds, yeah, the bonds that holds the water molecules to the water molecules. Right. Now notice, folks, that All it's right. starting to... We are boiling. We boil at 92 here. So yeah, we're at 92.6 degrees, 93, something like that. The water is going to just continue to boil. Now, let's just see what happens to our curve here. And notice, folks, what's happening is the graph right here is flattening out. And what's going to happen is it's going to stay at the same temperature for a very, very long time. How long will it stay for that way, Mr. Uh, until all of that water's gone. Which would be um, probably an hour from now, maybe a half yeah, hour. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. Notice how it's starting to flatten out. Yeah. Okay. So let's let's um, yeah. Yeah, so we had a flat spot down at the bottom when the ice was turning into water because down there was a here. phase change, very little temperature change, essentially no temperature change. Yeah. Um, then I had a, I jiggled the probe there, that's why that's all funky. Yeah, that's weird. And then, no, whoops, oh. sorry, I just took it out of the water. Yeah, you can't um, take it out of the water, Mr. Sam. Yeah, sorry about that. Then we have a flat spot on our graph again, and that's where the other phase change is occurring. So this is what we're going to call the heat it up, break it up model here. Okay, all right. Well, Mr. Sands, it looks like our curve is continuing to flat here after it another is, three yeah, or four we, minutes. We've let it boil a few more minutes, and uh, it's still boiling, and it's still right about the same temperature. Temperature still uh, 95 degrees. It hasn't changed a whole lot. Probably it's resting on the bottom. It's yeah. probably whatever. Close enough, so it's going to continue to boil um, for as long as this right here is um, around yep. until it runs out. And so it's going it, to be, we're not going to sit here forever and watch that, but that's it's going to last a long time. Yeah. Okay, so that is.